Professional presence and first impressions matter. And they matter especially when we're using video calls and we don't get the chance to make a powerful in-person impression. And today I'm gonna to share with you four ways to make a powerful first impression and to ensure that you come across as a professional on video. Number one, remember that everything in the screen is part of your message, is part of how what you're communicating to the other person. Sure, you're at home, sure it may be dirty in the background or there's maybe a lot of chaos going in the background, modify that. Either use a green screen or find an area of your, your house or your home where it's a clear wall, right? A one color wall so this background doesn't distract. Or at the very least, set up what you have, manipulate it, what you have behind you to add impact to what you're saying, to be part of your message. So think of it this way. It's how you talk, how you look, your body language, your message, as well as the visual background behind you that all affect the message that you're getting across. Number two, if you're doing a Zoom call, log in early, about five minutes early, on a separate Zoom call that you create yourself and set everything up so you look good. In this way, when you log on to the actual call, you're not kind of fumbling around and spending the first valuable 30 seconds of a minute just kind of setting everything up. As soon as the camera comes on, the video comes on, you log into the, the Zoom room, it's showtime. You look good, you come across well, and everything is set. Number three, make sure you have good lighting and you're sitting up straight and you position yourself very effectively and powerfully in the frame of the camera. You don't wanna see someone who's down here or over to the side or the camera angle is off because all of that shows amateur and unprepared and unprofessional. Number four, show up and log in on time because when someone is late, even 30 seconds or a minute to a Zoom call, the other person recognizes it and that affects how they perceive you. Ultimately, the main message is don't leave your video conferencing or your video communications to chance. Approach it just like you would approach a person, the preparation that you would make to speak with a person face to face for the first time, ensuring that you relay a powerful professional presence.